The 911 communication systems continue to be an issue in Northumberland County. What are the next steps to take in order to solve whatever problems still remain? Well, Justin, thanks for having me here today. Appreciate it. The 911 system has been a problem for a number of years. Um, after speaking with EMS, uh, firefighters, police officers throughout the county, and li listening to the uh, attending some commissioner meetings and, and listening to the situation. Um, number one, the completion of the North Tower, which is scheduled to be completed soon, I think will aid in a lot of the, the problems that have occurred. Um, a, a big problem that we have is with surrounding counties uh, communicating with our um, uh, personnel, our, our firefighters, our police, our EMS people. It seems that <clears throat> our, our system is good. We're able to communicate within the county with, with personnel, but the problem occurs when, we're, when we gotta go out of the county, our system, our, our uh, units don't work because they need to be upgraded. Um, now the county commissioners at their last meeting, they discussed the three million, three million dollar project that would aid in improving our communication devices and hopefully resolve the problem. But uh, at this point, there, there is a problem and it has to be resolved. I think in the future, I would like to see a, a regionalization of the 911 center, where we have uh, a number of counties um, linked to that that 911 center, which would solve a lot of, of the problems. Okay, the county has spent more than a quarter million dollars in overtime at the prison since it opened in October. How will you work with the warden and prison board members to solve this? Well, recently, the county commissioners. Mr. Shikatan and Mr. Shuck to uh, monitor this and to try to remediate it, they hired a former Commonwealth of Pennsylvania correctional officer to, uh, that's highly experienced in, in uh, prison operations to go to the county prison, review the current procedures and policies and, and to see what what he f would recommend uh, with this with this this overtime problem and um, he's going to be filing a report with the commissioners letting them know how things and, and the warden I guess to see how th this can be uh, reduced yesterday which was Thursday, April 18th, the Bureau of Prisons sent a few representatives, the Pennsylvania Bureau of uh, Prisons sent a few representatives to the county prison to um, evaluate the, sis the, uh, the situation also as a third party. And that's gonna be interesting to see what they came up with. W one of the big problems with the prison system is the county, with all prison systems, especially at the county level, is when a, when a correctional officer needs to take off for a sick day or whatever the case may be, um, who's ever doing the, the previous shift gets mandated to, um, to fill in that spot. So they have to work double shifts. There's, at this point, there's no substitutes uh, like you would have in, a, have in a school district where a substitute commit, could come in and, and take over for that correctional officer that's absent. So we need to possibly find substitute guards that can help out with this because the prisons at the county level, it, it's at, well, at all levels, it's a tough job. Um, there's a high turnover rate, especially at the county level, because once those correctional officers get some experience, they try to 
move into the state or federal systems where the, they get better pay and the benefits are better. So if we can get possible substitutes to come in and help out with this situation, that may help with the huge overtime problem. But the, it is a problem and, and we've got to uh, look into ways that we can cut down on the problem. It's being an in, being a correctional officer, it's a, it's a stressful, it's a stressful job and there, there is a high turnover rate. So we've, we have to uh, get possible substitutes to help with this because if we don't, it's, it's not like where you can say, okay, um, let's say in, for example, in a school district where you don't have um, enough substitutes to cover the classes, you get uh, maybe send four classes to a study hall, all right? <laughs> In a prison, you can't send the prisoners to a, a large group area to hang out. You need to have people, you need to have correctional officers there monitoring the situation. So um, that's why they're mandated and they work double shifts. And if you do that a lot, it, it'll, it'll wear you out. And, and I don't like that situation. So we would have to work with the uh, warden and to, to, to uh, address the issues and, and see what can be worked out. Right. With the hotel study happening and the AOAA continuing to attract tourism, where do you see the county headed in terms of economic development over the next four years and how will you help to accomplish those goals? Well, the AOAA is a great attribute to the the entire region. I've been out there personally with with Mr. Porzi in uh, the Northumberland County Housing Authority, which I'm a member of, and uh, we we did a tour of the whole facility. AO, that facility out there has a huge amount of acreage, and the people that come in from all over the neighboring states and, and uh, you know they come far distances to, to go to that facility it's a great facility and it's growing every year uh, so there may be a need for a hotel in that area um, if it continues to grow I know the residents the business people in the Shimokan area are they're they're looking for like everyone is uh, a bit to attract to more business and uh, that's one thing that that will do that um, as far as economic growth goes the prison site that was built and currently uh, being used uh, by the prison uh, there's a lot of acreage there uh, there's a lot of potential for for more growth bringing in Maybe some more industry, some some um, more uh, treatment centers in conjunction with the prison. Um, that that area has to be developed more. Another uh, situation or another possibility, which the the Sunbury, the the Celotex, the former Celotex plant site. Uh, that's a prime location property, and I think that needs to be developed. I know there's some problems there with some, some type of contamination. Um, hopefully that could get resolved because the property is, it, it needs to be developed not only for the people of Sunbury, but also the entire county. It's located in a nice situation, and um, I know, speaking with some councilmen in Sunbury, that uh, that's one of the things that I would work hard to uh, see through, getting that site uh, developed. And, you know, just basically work with the uh, planning commission in the county to make sure we're pursuing every avenue possible 
seeking funding, uh, grants, whatever we can do to bring in business industry in any way possible, promote the tourism. We do have the AOA, we have the, the, uh, the Lake Augusta there, and, and we have Knobles. We have a really beautiful county with a lot of, a lot of potential, a lot of, a lot of things that can be done. So, you know, I look forward to working on those things. What capital projects do you hope to accomplish? Well, with the uh, current administration finishing up the, uh, the, the prison, the new prison, and the 911 getting, uh, hopefully that'll get all straightened out and, and we'll be, uh, our communication will be up to a high standard. I would like to, um, number one, see maybe a region, you know, working in cooperation. We have to cooperate with um, surrounding counties. And I think right now the current administration has gotten good cooperation. They've developed some good, good ties with the commissioners in, the, in our surrounding counties. So I, I would like to definitely see that continue. You have to work with people. And, and that's one of the things I've always been able to do is, you know, address, find out what the problem is, identify the problem, address it, and work with, work with everyone. Try to work with people to get things done. You can't isolate people. Um, that's not the way to do things. So I would, I would want to work with counties, the commissioners from other counties, officials from other counties, and also within the county to get things done. The, uh, the 911 would be a big thing to get that regionalized, and that'll take a commitment and, and working together with, with everyone. It, you know, that would, we'd have to agree on, on that. Uh, the courthouse, I think that has to be brought up to uh, standards and, and make that more efficient. Uh, that's deteriorated somewhat over the last few um, years. Um, we, we have to address the op opioid crisis. That's, uh, that touches everyone's lives and that's, as a former educator, that it really bothers me if I've had a lot of uh, a number of students and families affected by it, and uh, that's something that, as a county commissioner, that that has to be addressed. Um, and a lot, and another thing that, as I ride around the county, I I, uh, I taught in the Warrior Run School District for ten years another 25 or six years at the Schmokin School District. So I've developed a lot of ties throughout the entire county. I know the county well. I've probably been on every road in the county. Um, and I have a lot of uh, people that I know. I, my networking system is extensive. And as a county commissioner, I don't, I would, I don't have all the answers, but it, if I need to find an answer to something or need information, I have enough um, people that I could rely on. My networking system is, is pretty widespread where I can ask and get input or direction on any kind of question or, or problem I need to have addressed. So um, one of the things that when you ride around this county, you see lots of farmland. There's a, there's a lot of farming going on, and uh, sometimes our farmers are are we don't you know we don't hear much from them. They're hardworking people. Um, I'd like to see what we could do more for them, what what their needs are, and and meet with them and 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 try to work with them and develop and them and helping helping the farmers too. What kind of opportunities exist for regionalization and cooperation with neighboring counties and will you pursue those? 
Well, Justin, cooperation is, is a key in any anything that you do. You have to work together with people. I always say, t team, together, everyone accomplishes more. Um, and right now in the county, there's there's some fighting between the commissioners on different issues, and it's not a good thing. Right now we have the uh, the lawsuit going on with Cole Township and, and the Northumberland County. That's got to get resolved, and we got we got to move. We got to address the issues. There's, from what I can see, there's too much. Um, fighting going on and and we're, we're not concentrating all our efforts and time on the issues and, and one of my big things is I've always been able to work with people you know we're gonna have differences but you got to work with them identify the problems and, and work together for a, a positive outcome you know we're all when when you run for an office you're either a a Democrat, a Republican, or a Independent, but when those three county commissioners get together, they're representing Northumberland. That's the taxpayers, the people of Northumberland County. So you you owe it to them to to work together and address, spend your time and efforts addressing the problems, so we can make the county a better place to live and work.